Okay, after reading this passage here that goes with question nine, you should have a good sense of what's going on. That is, you should be able to break down the passage as follows. We have planets in our solar system have circular orbits, so you'd expect that planets in other solar systems have the same circular orbits. However, they don't. They have elliptical or non-circular orbits. Why? Well, they look to comets. With comets, they're oftentimes thrown into these strange elongated or elliptical orbits. And if we take that clue, the way that comets react, then we can extrapolate that to planets in general. Well, what happens? How do comets get thrown into the elongated orbit? Well, they get really close to planets in general, and the planets sort of slingshot the comets away. Now, planets themselves also follow this activity. That is, if two pairs of planets get really close to each other, they sort of slingshot each other. So when we see planets in this elongated or elliptical orbit, the reason why is they've sort of pushed each other away. And it even says here in line 12 and 13 that two planets form in close orbits. One will be scattered inward, the other outward. So you can see that planets are affecting each other's orbits. One goes away, one goes in, or one goes out. And then they'd also, if you look at the very last line, beginning with they will, at the, I believe that's line 13, they will likely then travel close enough to neighboring planets to disturb their orbits also. So you have these planets here that are basically messing up every planet's orbit that they come near. And so when we go to the question and we read it, we, in a sense, can already anticipate the answer. So let's do so. According to the passage, which of the following factors help account for the elliptical shape of the orbits of extrasolar planets? Well, we can look at A and see what we have here. The planet's formation in close proximity to other planets. So with A, we mentioned that they come close to other planets. And when they come close to other planets, what happens? They sort of slingshot off or push one another away. So that definitely works. B, the gravitational influence of planets whose original orbits have been disturbed. Well, if you look here again at the last line, it says they will likely then travel close enough to neighboring planets to disturb their orbits also. So you can see that here you have this influence of planets whose original orbits have been disturbed are also responsible for the elliptical shape of the orbits of planets. And then finally, C, the gravitational influence of comets. Well, with comets, we had this analogy here that, well, planets are slingshotting, slingshotting comets, and they also slingshot one another. However, was there ever anything about the comets slingshotting one another, anything to do with the gravitational polar influence of comets? No. It was only about the gravitational influence of planets upon comets or planets upon planets, and therefore C is not the correct answer, we have A and B.